Hi everyone and welcome for this brand new open the box. This time we are going to open an evolution 2-in-1. It's a 2-in-1 just because we are going to have uh, two different uh, nozzle inside. Uh, one of uh, two, zero, uh, 0 0.2 millimeter and one other uh, 0 0.4 uh, millimeter so it's going to be um, an open the box I'm going to show you all I'm going to open all the airbrush and we are going to take our time and make it very slowly and cleanly because it's uh, pretty fragile of a project so we need to take care about our airbrush so let's go for the opening so here is the box and we are going to open and see what it's inside Um, so, uh, we have uh, some instruction for use. Um, so, into the manual, we have some uh, explication in French, English, German, every language, and some first exercise to do. Oh, that's pretty cool because um, in my um, in my mind, I don't remember these small quick tips about the starting with airbrush and that's pretty 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 good so we have uh, the airbrush uh, directly uh, like that uh, we have the uh, 0.2 uh, directly inside and outside we are going to have the second set uh, with the uh, second uh, nozzle and uh, all you need to change this it's a 0.4 so it's more um, for more large uh, model and vehicle something like that by the way uh, you have a second uh, element like that but a lot of time i use a small one just because i don't use a lot of paint into my airbrush but that can be useful if you are going to paint a lot of model so every model comes in two uh, version one with some uh, gravity paint so you just have uh, this on this part and um, another one come with this uh, in the back uh, side in the downside uh, it's uh, by aspiration so uh, the paint is come inside by aspiration of hair so I prefer the gravity one because it's more simple uh, in my mind, but some other prefer the, the other one, so uh, the, both of them works pretty well. And now I'm going to show you how it's work inside and I'm going to make it very simply. I'm not going to remove all the middle parts, but all the other parts that's going to be pretty useful when you need to make a big wash of all your airbrush so now we are going to open all of the different parts so i'm going to remove this remove the needle always by the front of the airbrush and i will put it later you can remove these by the way and this just to show you it's a different element when you want to clean everything you can always remove by some with some few tools this part la to, to make a very very important clean uh, but in our concern, we are going to focus on very simple uh, opening. And now we are going to come back and put everything together again. When you do that for the first time, take your time, make it slowly and just try to make it in the best way to uh, don't break uh, anything from your set. Remember to put the needle from the front 
to the back to try to don't make any um, damage at the uh, front of your needle. I go back to be sure it's not going to be out just before I put this part. I just take care it's going to be in the good direction. And that's down. So after this opening, I want to show you uh, some basic stuff I use a lot with my airbrush. Uh, just for you to know, um, we can't start airbrushing just with an airbrush. Um, I use, uh, for the colors, uh, I always um, give the advice to use some pro color um, just because it's a very very good paint and it's not going to uh, let too much paint into your airbrush your airbrush is going to be really more easy to clean and you have uh, you are going to gain a lot of time about um, the cleaning of your airbrush by the way uh, they are not easy to find sometimes and uh, the quantity of different color into the range is not necessarily very, very large. Take care to always take the opaque one. Uh, and by the way, if you don't find this, don't hesitate to use the Army Painter uh, War Paint into your airbrush. I really uh, think it's very uh, good paint for me. And by the way, I always deal you these two kinds of color uh, by uh, half and half. Half of dilution, uh, so uh, one half medium and one half paint. Try to always use the medium uh, from the same range of your paint. Just because uh, the, ch the chemical constitution of the paint is always something um, delicate and sometimes if you don't use a good medium you can have some bad um, um, bad surprise uh, during the process of paint uh, so really take care about that and by the way if you don't want or don't have any kind of uh, dilution medium you can always uh, do uh, your dilution and your cleaner just by using um, in a bottle um, three parts of uh, devitalila de de in English it's not so easy so devitalized uh, water uh, it's a water without mineral the same you put into some uh, uh, some cleaner into your home and the other part is done with some um, glass cleaner so one part of glass cleaner for three parts of devitalized water that's perfect to deal you and to clean your airbrush when you use some classical acrylic paint uh, for me that's pretty pretty important uh, by the way uh, you will probably have a necessary uh, with your airbrush, you need to have this kind of stuff. Sometimes um, this is coming in plastic and to me it's really important to have something uh, in tissue because it's really, really more easy to use. And if it's a little bit uncomfortable when you paint with your airbrush, don't hesitate to put around your hand like that and after to paint with it. So it will be more easy for your movement. Uh, just to finish, you are going to have uh, necessary uh, need uh, this kind of project. This is um, some support for your airbrush. You can put on any kind of table and that's going to be more easy to put your airbrush on that. Uh, that's a really, really, really important thing. Uh, and sometimes I totally forget because it's always uh, very useful things so I forget it's here so I forget to tell you that and by the way you are going to use this kind of bottle so you can use it as support for your airbrush so you don't need the previous uh, element and you can use it to remove the paints or uh, when you clean your airbrush you are going to uh, directly use it inside this bottle and they 
going to keep uh, the uh, different uh, residue inside the bottle and that's really 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 important now, one thing i totally forget uh, to uh, tell you it's about the quick uh, uh, the, the quick link. Uh, it's really, really useful when you start using one or two airbrush. Sometimes you can say care about your old airbrush to continue to make, for example, some uh, primer with your paint. And uh, in that way, you can use this quick um, link just to put it quickly without any uh, drill or anything else. And that's really, really, really uh, cool to use and uh, that's really more fluent and easy. By the way, I'm going to give you some link of the product I use. Some link can come from Amazon, but if you can and if you have a shop near your uh, place, don't hesitate to go directly to your shop. It's always better to, uh, to buy from your local uh, shop. Um, so I think I tell you everything for the moment for the, this first um, video about airbrush so let's go for the conclusion oops i just forget some few things um uh, in order to clean your airbrush you are going to have uh, to need this kind of element uh, this is very very interesting because you are going to clean all the inside the uh, airbrush it's really really useful the second element is the same but i use it uh, directly normally it's for tips uh, but to be honest um, um, it's really, really, really useful uh, on the, all the different parts and really more easy to find uh, just if you are, uh, just go to the pharmacy and find it really, really easily to clean the smaller uh, piece of your airbrush. That's really useful. And by the way, always use uh, this kind of glove. Um, it's really useful because if you are not going to use it, you are going to have a lot of paint on all your hands every time. And as you can see, I use it a lot and you just have to change it some few times. Not so much uh, for the nature. Uh, you need to use it a lot if you can and uh, after trash it and use another again. So this time it's okay. I think probably I will forget some few things but I will come back to you uh, more uh, often about uh, airbrush just because a lot of people ask me about airbrushing and I'm going to give you uh, more tutorial about airbrushing soon. So this time it's okay. I can go and let you with the conclusion. And that's down. Thanks again for watching this kind of tutorial and video. Uh, don't hesitate to ask in the comment if you want a new tutorial about airbrush, about some focus on some part of airbrushing. Uh, that will be a pleasure to do that for you. And uh, by the way, you can always like, share and post a comment uh, just to help me to, sh uh, to uh, reach more people on internet. Uh, uh, by the way, you can always support me on Patreon to have more content and join our Discord to can uh, share with me directly and with all our uh, cool community uh, your painting stuff. Um, and that's all. Uh, thank you again and see you for the next tutorial. Bye-bye.